hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video and this is part two of aggregate functions in sql yeah so this is just one video of many that i've been creating and i plan to keep on creating around sql so yeah in case you're totally new to sql you're totally new to my sql you can go to the playlist section the first ever video on that section uh, will show you how you can import a CSV into my SQL. I also, I also link a tutorial. So that tutorial is what helped me like, you know, download and install my SQL onto my machine. So you can equally go to that video and just use it to guide you through the, you can go to the tutorial and use it to guide it through how to download my SQL onto your machine and also how to upload your CSV onto this environment like this tutorial and all other tutorials before and the ones that are to come. I'm going to link the data set that I'm using down below. So yeah, you can get the actual data set and follow along with me. So yeah, let's get into the video. As I mentioned before, we're going to be covering aggregate functions. So in part one, we looked at sum and count. In part two, we're going to look at mean, max, and average. So yeah, let's get into the first question. What did the highest earning YouTuber make in a year? So this is just basically asking for the column for highest earning YouTuber. Let's go to that column. So we're going to use highest yearly earnings. So highest underscore yearly earnings. Yeah, so what did the highest yearly earnings? Okay, yeah, now the grammar is off, but uh, so we're just going to the column of highest yearly earnings and we want to know what's the maximum amount and that's equivalent to like the earnings that was received by the highest earning YouTuber. So we're just going to edit here. So we're going to select max and we're going to call highest yearly earnings uh, from global YouTube statistics. So we can just name this as uh max underscore mm -hmm. so yeah let's run this so the highest earning youtuber that year and this so this is the amount they earned yeah so yeah, let's go to the second question what did the lowest earning youtuber make in a year so we're going to use the same column so it's going to be select and we still want the lowest so lowest is mean yeah so we want the mean so in the column of highest yearly earnings we just want to know what is the lowest amount so what did the person who earned the lowest actually make yeah so we want this from uh, the global youtube statistics table okay uh let's run that and see what we get yeah so the lowest earning person uh the highest earning <laughs> in the column highest earning there's someone who didn't earn anything so that's the earnings. So my assumption is both the highest yearly earnings and lowest yearly earnings are the same. And I guess on that note, like this is just the first step. As I mentioned in part two, this is just to smooth you guys into how SQL aggregate functions work. But for me, the true power of SQL aggregate functions is seen when you combine them with group by. So like here, okay, you've seen the lowest earning YouTuber. I wonder where this person is located, but if you had to group it by country, if you had to group it by uh, the various continents available, do all of them have zero or is the highest, the lowest, the lowest, the lowest income in the highest yearly earnings column? Is it zero for some countries, but it's not zero for other countries? There are still the other countries who their lowest is quite significant, like it's not zero, you know? So yeah, let's go into another aggregate function. So we're going to look into average. So the next two questions will cover average and then the last question is going to come maximum. And for the last question, I'm going to give you guys like a 
slight test taste slash introduction into SQL group by and how SQL group by can be used together with various aggregate functions. Yeah. So yeah, so let's get into uh, this question. So what is the average yearly earning on the higher side? Yeah. So it's the same. So we want to select and we want average. So what the average of the highest yearly earnings, yeah? As average. Oh, I can't use a keyword. From, so we're getting it from the global YouTube statistics. So yeah, so yeah, when we sum everyone, you know, uh, get the average, what is the average earnings? So yeah, there you go, that's the average earnings. And then again, as I said, this is just the first step. Like, wouldn't you want to know what's the average earnings by gender, by country, by continent, by channel type, ETC? So those are some of the things that I'm going to cover. Those are some of the things that I'm going to show you when we get into what is SQL group by, how is SQL group by used, and how does it interact with aggregate functions? Yeah. So yeah, uh, what is the average yearly earnings on the lower side? Yeah, so we can just take this, we copy paste, then maybe we can just add and to differentiate them. Though for this particular tutorial, it honestly doesn't really matter so much because these are individual uh, data sets that we are creating. Okay, so on the lower side, so okay, yeah. Uh, keep that in mind in that figure number. Yeah, so on the lower side, it's, it's definitely lower than for highest uh, yearly earnings. Okay, so yeah, the last question that we're going to cover in this tutorial, and that's going to introduce us to group by. Mm, let's get to it. What is the highest number of views uh, gained and by who? So the first thing you have to do is you have to select, and actually we're not going to use group by for this. So we just want max, yeah? So we want the max, uh, Views, views is the one that is, yeah, max views. So copy, okay. As number of views. And we want this from Yeah, but I'm going to do an extra question just to introduce you guys to group by since I already, you know, ran my mouth over here about how I'm going to introduce you. So yeah, so this is the maximum number of views, yeah? But we want to know who was it by, yeah? So the next thing you have to do, oh yeah, we have to use group by. So we have to put the YouTuber. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> whenever you're using, whenever you're calling or creating various columns, so if you have an aggregate function, it has to be used along with an aggregate function, yeah? If it's not used along with the aggregate function, you have to group by whatever the other column is that is not aggregated, yeah? So when you're calling various aggregated, uh, when you're, calculating aggregates, yeah, whether it's sum, count, max, mean, you either just have a bunch of aggregates or a bunch of aggregates and non-aggregated columns, but the non-aggregated columns have to appear in the group by, yeah? So now like here, so we're selecting YouTuber, we're selecting max, and now from, mm -hmm, so now what you have to do, you have to be like, Okay, let's run that first and we see what happens, yeah? So let's run this first and we see what happens. Um, so you get an error. Uh, let me move this. In aggregate, 
query without a group by. Yeah, so that's the error you get. So what you have to do here is you have to group by. YouTuber. Okay. Mm. Not to group by YouTuber. So let's run that and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's get it this. Mm. I thought we should do like Ah, okay, so we group by YouTuber, then we limit it to one. Mm -hmm. Let's run that, then we think through that. Okay, so we've grouped by YouTuber, we've limited it to one. So you see now the interesting thing with this is, it's undoing our maths, yeah? So this is not a very good way to do this, to come and think of it, because it's undoing our max. You might as well just use order by to calculate this, because you see like now, it's just doing the maximum views, yeah, and then it's grouping by YouTuber. So this is not very useful. Yeah, like this is wrong, yeah? So how I'd recommend, let's say we do uh, by country, yeah? So let's, get rid of this limit and then we have country instead mm -hmm. maybe i should have taken time to okay no but it's okay so just know we want the max yeah so the max is an aggregate function yeah but when you group by your opening it up. So if you're grouping by uh, 847 elements, it will get the aggregate for the 847. So it's undoing the group by. But anyway, the, 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 the purpose of this tutorial mm, is not to get into group by. Group by is going to be the next tutorial. So yeah, stay tuned. So let's just do a quick one for countries. And then, yeah, we call it a video and, you know, get ready for... <clears throat> group by next so yeah as you can see so now um, i think india has the highest number of views but to be sure so group by and then we do order by country and then we want it in descending from the highest yeah so let's run this let's run this let's run this so it's actually it's actually Vietnam. Hmm. Interesting. But wait, you know these things, the way it doesn't have like commas. I'm having a very hard time. So that's it's a very One, two, can I zoom in? This already looks like they're more. Mm, let's order, let me leave it to ascending. Let's see what happens. Hmm. This here. It's confusing me a bit. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, that is confusing me a bit. Like I can't. Uh, I don't know. Is there a better way to view this? What? Yeah. So ascending is from the smallest to the highest. Descending would be from the highest to the lowest. But I'm just wondering what is going on like this does not make sense to me hmm. okay yeah hmm. 
Okay, they are for sure 9.8 is greater than 9.6. But what's going on with the United States? There is something. Probably there's some data cleaning we need to do. I'm going to check that out offline. And then I will get back to you guys in the next video about what's going on with the United States. And I'm also seeing it with, uh, so this is United States. Have I seen it anywhere else? Yeah, it's just in India. Yeah, so I need to check what's up with United States and India. But yeah, so that's just a quick, uh, like a quick, outlook on how group by works. And again, I'm not so worried about this because the whole point of this video is not to talk about group by the next tutorial we're going to cover group by and I would have figured out what's going on over here. But yeah, an interesting thing would be like, okay, let's visualize this. Let's see the top three people. I mean, the top three country, the top five country would probably have like a line graph or a bar graph showing, yeah, probably a bar graph because it's like at a point in time showing oh okay 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 if we had like if we had uh if it was like more of a time series so we have the highest yearly earnings for like uh the past five years the past 10 years it would be nice to have a time series and we see how has it vietnam been progressing venezuela united states etc so yeah guys that's it for this video don't worry too much about this i'm going to address it in the next tutorial which is sql uh group by and then yeah mm, if you've liked this, uh, feel free to like, feel, me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If there's something specific you'd want to see me cover, something around SQL that you want me to address, let me know. And yeah, subscribe. Let's go along this uh, journey together. As I've already mentioned in my previous videos, I'm really excited about creating like various SQL projects. So what I decided to do is, like I'm going to do a couple more tutorials. Of course, I'm going to teach you guys by having... CTEs, I'll probably also teach you guys how to create views in uh, in SQL, yeah. So once that is done, I want to do a basic beginner-friendly project so that we can just see how do these various SQL concepts and SQL functions come together? How does a data analyst actually use this to drive value? So we're going to do a like, basic uh, single table project before we continue with additional concepts and do even more projects. So we're going to do just SQL alone, SQL in combination with Power BI, SQL in combination with Tableau. I'm really excited. If you're as excited as I am, if you're willing, if you're interested in, you know, learning, you know, getting to know each other, yeah, subscribe. Let me know what you're interested in the, what you're interested in specifically, what concepts you want to see me cover down in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, mm, that's it for me. See you in the next one. Bye.